I really don't need to know why you had your hands all over Skylar just now. Please, Rex. I have something important to tell you. I just got some news. Is it Shane? I thought his last test results came back clean. Yeah, they did. <sighs> okay, then. What is it? What's wrong with him? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with Shane. I wanted to tell you... What? Um... <clears throat> he got accepted to baseball camp, and his uncle just said that he could go. Oh. Okay, that's good. Is, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, good. Well, we'll leave you two alone. Gigi. Why didn't you tell Rex the truth about Stacy? I couldn't, and I don't think I ever can. can the judge expect you to move under the same roof with Todd? Look, he thinks if we're both living with the kids, then we'll stop fighting over them. Well, he's the one who has been throwing the punches. You've just been defending Look, yourself. I'm, I'm just telling you it's serious here. The judge says that Todd and I have to get along or he's going to put our children in foster care, okay? Oh, my... Yeah. No. Not if my lawyers have anything to do with it. Dorian... I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've been on the phone all morning trying to convince that judge to change his mind. And what happened? What? I wouldn't even consider it, all right? So now what do we do? Well, now I have to move in with Todd. I mean, today. Oh, God. I'm really going to need one of those hangover remedies that Mo makes. All right, well, I'll have him whip you up one. You can't. It's not going to be that big a deal. I mean, he'll be glad to do it for you. I kicked him and Noel out of this house yesterday. What? Well, I, I don't have time to go into Dorian, all of kicked, that. Dorian, you kicked Noel and Mo out. Just listen to me. me. You Fire cannot. Shot. What happened at the party? You can't leave me. You cannot leave me alone in this house. You're not going to be alone. You'll have Langston, OK? What happened with Langston? We had a, a few words. What do you mean, a few words? What? Few, what? Well, I told you that last night I had a little bit too much to drink. All right, I had a lot too much to drink, and I totally lost control, and now she absolutely hates me, OK? <laughs> and the last thing I recollect is she pushed me into the pool. Okay, I know Dorian was wasted and said way too much, but it wouldn't have mattered if your parents weren't from the Dark Ages. Well, I told you. I mean, why do you think it took me so long to I calm those. Look, my parents will calm down, I promise. Are you sure? Sort of. You know who started this whole thing? My Uncle Ray. None of this would have happened if Dorian still had a man on a leash. I don't want you moving in with Todd. Do you not hear me? I don't have a choice here. That's what the judge ruled. Yes, you do have a choice. Damn it, have him move in here. Gosh. Oh, you want my slug of an ex-husband living under your roof again? Oh, really? It's just a strategy, Blair. You need home court advantage, and here you have got something that Todd can never take away from you. And what's that? Me. You really don't want to start to have to fight off her father every time that Cole wants to come and see that baby. Why do you think that we can't raise hope together? No, it, it's... It... I can understand about my dad because of everything that's happened, but he has gotten better about you. And he's realized that his stupid plan to steal our baby was the reason why all this happened to her. You really think he knows that? I haven't told him that I have her back yet. Wait, what, you haven't? Cole, we're talking about my dad here. The second he finds out that I am raising his granddaughter, he could go completely psycho again. <laughs> but you know what? Things are different now. Marcy gave her back to us. I am her mother, and you are her father. Nothing can change that. Right. We will raise hope together, Cole. And even if my dad tries to stop us, we will fight back. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, everything's great. Got custody of my kids. Feel terrific. Nothing happened at Blair's last night. You know what? Actually, we don't have time for this. You have to get in the shower. Excuse me? I made you an appointment with that lawyer. Come on, let's go. I'll help you. You're going to help me shower? Oh, keep dreaming. It's not as if I haven't seen everything already. And you never will again. But I'm the love of your life. If you say that one more time, I swear to you, I will beat you so life, badly that you won't remember me? your own name, you much less me? anything I've ever said. How, are you how am I going to beat you? Yeah. I'll show you how I'm going to beat you. I'll sh That'll oh. be good. Oh. Yeah, you're a real badass. See? You need me. Start listening to it. Oh, you're so worried. Y your dad is not the reason that we can't raise hope together, and not for right now, anyway. Okay, then what's the problem? I am. You didn't think I'd actually issue a ticket for not having your dog on a leash, did you? Yeah, that was pretty darn funny, Fish. Oh, come on, I was just giving you a hard time. Why? You have a problem with the apartment, or Christian, or me? No. No, are you kidding? I, uh... I actually think it's going really well, don't you? I did. Look, if you're still hung up about that whole Stacy Marasco thing... Then... What? No. That's ancient history. <laughs> right. It's not just ancient. It's prehistoric. Every time I see Gigi, she's pressed up against some guy. <laughs> she sure gets around, doesn't she? Bo says she might have been acting crazy because she was so scared about Shane. Uh, well, I've never heard of fear turning someone into a tramp. No, she's no tramp. That's why this doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, didn't you catch her in bed with Brody? Yeah. And when you got to his house, was she not in his shower? And how many times have you seen them together since? Now, Skylar? <laughs> this really isn't making me feel any better. Look, Rex, I'm not trying to. I mean, I'm sorry Gigi left you, but the sooner you can accept this, the sooner you'll start feeling better. I don't know. Well, I do. The sooner you can forget about this relationship, you'll finally start feeling some happiness. Gigi, what are you talking about? Of course you can tell Rex the truth about Stacy. I wanted to. I wanted to bust her more than anything. I had it all planned out. Okay, so why didn't you do it? When Rex started talking about Shane maybe being sick again, the look on his face, it got me thinking, what if Shane really does have a relapse? Well, Stacy couldn't do anything about that, so. Stacy switched her stem cells for somebody else's. She must know who that somebody is. And if I tell everyone that she lied, what if she takes off or something? So what, you're just, you're just not gonna ever tell Rex the truth? Not until I can find a way to get Stacy to tell me who the real donor is. And she's my only shot at finding out. No, she's not. Come here. Hey. It's just, uh, out for a jog. It's glad to know you're not jumping bail. Yeah, I, I wasn't lying to you the other day, Fish. Uh, Skylar Joplin really was harassing me. Okay. Not that I don't appreciate you saving my ass, but, you know, this is all just a big misunderstanding. You know, Kyle, I hear that a lot, especially when someone's trying to get out of a crime they committed. How are you the reason we can't raise hope together? Because I won't be around. Well, I know that you're living at the rehab center, and that's fine because you'll be spending all of your free time with Hope. Sorry, I won't have any free time. I won't have any free anything. Where is she? Where's oh. our baby? Oh. 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 oh, look at her. She has blue eyes just like you. I know. Your mom told me all about it. So you know that we're keeping her. Yes. <laughs> and I couldn't be happier. Okay, well, Aunt Dorian, I would like you to meet Hope. And Hope, hey, <gasps> say bonjour to your Aunt Dorian. Ooh, bonjour. <laughs> <laughs>